everyone, welcome everyone to another episode of Tech Update with Techie SMS where I used to make you aware and update about all the latest tech projects and events that were happening or announced in the span of the month and this is the October 2023 edition and I got a lot of tech updates for you and starting with the biggest update of the month or at least biggest update for Techie SMS which is Maker Faire Shenzhen so yes Maker Faire Shenzhen is happening not in October but in November and we are selected as the official media partner of this event so previously I was thinking of going to Maker Faire Shenzhen as a maker for showcasing showcasing my own projects but later on when we uh, came up with the media partnership now I am not taking any of my project any of my creation rather I'll be covering that complete event and yes we will be shooting that complete event and I'll be you know publishing that content that video on this YouTube channel so November is going to be very happening for all the makers and for all my audience because a lot of uh, you know China content maybe related to a uh, you know, component market maybe related to maker fresh engine maybe related to some factory tools which is not yet finalized but yeah we'll be definitely having some of that too so everything will be uploading on this channel so make sure to subscribe to the channel for all these updates and for those who don't know what actually a maker fair is then here is the video that talks about the previous maker fair Shenzhen so it's a place where the people like us people like uh, uh, you all came up with their own innovations own projects is showcase uh, uh, you know at that event so there are people from all over the world by the way so they showcase their projects and creations and not only makers but there are also some companies that showcase their new latest products there are some workshops seminars and different different events okay so everything under one roof and that's the maker fair event and this will be happening in Shenzhen this November so if you're planning to come to Shenzhen well let's catch up there in the maker fair and also if you have any suggestions regarding what should I do in Shenzhen because I'll be staying there for a week Week. so do let me know your suggestions as well like what to do whom to meet and what to explore everything that you know about Shenzhen you can drop down in the comments of the video so that's the first and the very very big update and moving on to the next update it's about the M5 dial now in my previous tech update video I already like shown you about the M5 dial but it was a teaser but now it's finally in the market for sale and here is the video from uh, directly from M5 tech that shows all the specifications all the details about this M5 dial so yes it's a uh, completely programmable uh, ESP32 S3 based board and also got a design in which we can you know fit inside any acrylic sheet any glass sheet easily with the help of this nut and bolt type of structure so it got a rotary knob to you know play with that device not only that it also got a fully touch screen or 1.28 inch touch screen then it also got an RFID reader that is really very useful for the access uh, you know systems in the offices and the events and it's based on ESP32 S3 as I said so they will be using their M5 uh, uh, M5 stamp based devices okay so it will be powered by that and it do got a couple of GRU connectors as we expect from any M5 stack based device so it's out for sale and I'm looking forward to get one uh, to try out and uh, soon we'll be getting it it is currently out of stock but soon and when it's come to stock we'll be getting it and we'll be having a review video of this product on our channel so again subscribe for such interesting content and next update is again a circular display with a rotary encoder I don't know if it is a trend or what so this is the for, uh, this is from Aspresso system and it is called as ESP32 C3 LCD kit okay so this is how the product uh, comes in this kind of packaging and we have a circular display it is based on of course ESP32 C3 so it has a circular display and below that we have a rotary encoder to interact with that display I don't think it is a touch screen it's just a display and we can interact using that a rotary encoder but uh, if you compare it to the M5 stack or M5 dial well that is much more attractive much more user friendly and much more neat looking okay but yeah these are two devices that are launched or announced in the span of the month October we do have one more new product launch from spark fun and it is from that quick pocket series so as we have the Shao series in seed studio similarly we have a quick series in spark fun in which uh, they used to uh, you know, launch different different development boards and this time they have launched uh, ESP 32 C6 based development board which comes in a very very compact size so if I let you know the size it is just in the dimension of one inch by one inch it's just this small uh, microcontroller board development board with a type c connector and here are a couple of specifications like uh, 
it is based on C6, that means we can expect Wi-Fi, Bluetooth plus Zigbee and Thread connectivity as well. And of course, it is Matter compatible. Then if we talk about the communication protocol, then it got two UART channels, one I2C channel and one I2S channel as well. It got 4 MB of flash memory and it also got an MCP73831 battery charging circuit on board. If I look at the hardware, then this is the front look and this is the backside of it with the battery connector and also the quick connector here and we do have a couple of GPR pins exposed so this is a complete uh, ready to use development board in a very very compact form factor but the price is really aggressive it is 14.95 US dollars for a development board based on ESP32 okay but yeah this is a new development board released by Sparkfun and they also published a video that covers everything about this board like the specification not a getting started video so it's covered all the specs it says 23 multifunction GPR pins uh, but I don't know I don't see 23 GPIO pins rather they have assumed all the functionalities like UART, I2C, I2S all together and consider 23 I don't know but yeah there are a couple of GPIO pins I would say it's like 5 to 7 GPIO pins are there to use so this is the new product released by Sparkfun and now let us move on to the next update which is coming from Lilico. So Lilico T Display S3 Pro. So we are covering this T Display S3 Pro in a couple of our tech update videos but they are always coming up with a new and new kind of shield and this is a very interesting shield. This is a camera shield uh, with a T Display S3 Pro and I was impressed with the low latency. It's almost real time. Okay, so on the back we have the camera on the display we are able to see the live uh, camera footage okay so like if I show you the back of it then here is the back here is the camera and this is a new thing they have you know teased it's not yet available in the market but this is a really amazing thing like T display S3 Pro got some really great like form factor and also features so a very nice thing to at least test out once so I'll try to get one of this unit at our studio and we'll work on it and let's see how many different kind of products we can make using this and I also love this you know connector with any angle connectivity this is nice so moving on to the next update which is coming from Geo so I recently came up uh, with this kind of video on my Instagram feed from Reliance Geo and it's about Geo Krishi so it is uh, showcase in one event called as IMC uh, 2023 and this is an IoT based device launching the consumer market by Geo. so I got really fascinated about it like we are now able to see those IoT projects which we were making as a hobby project as a school project as a college level project but now they are made for the end users ready to use and if I sh show you some technology used in this then uh, this is the complete setup they are selling so we have a couple of like five to six different attachments so we have the tipping bucket rain rain gauge for sensing the precip uh, precipitations then we have an ATRH sensor which will help us to uh, measure the atmospheric temperature and humidity then a solar panel to power and a uh, part of the device and charge the battery then we have the leaf wetness sensor I, or I guess the rainwater uh, sensor then we have the data logger a, a central unit that covers all the uh, uh, wireless technology data storage and all the processing power uh, like must be embedded inside this box then in the end we have the TDR soil sensor which is help us to you know, sense the soil uh, moisture level of course but also the minerals uh, you know uh, present in the soil this is a whole setup they are selling for agricultural uh, sector which is a great step they say that it is working on uh, geo 5g so it is working over the 5g wireless connectivity i have seen in the video but there are no technical specifications provided in this uh, uh, particular page so they call this device as aws solution so earlier i was confused like aws is something about amazon web services but it's not like that aws stands for automatic weather station so this was another tech release in the month of october 2023 moving on to the next update which is coming from home assistant and it's called as home assistant green so for all those home assistant lovers you all must be aware about this uh, home assistant green but for those who don't know then home assistant came up with the new hardware so previously they came up with the home assistant blue then yellow and this time the green one which is kind of, uh, you can uh, consider it as a gateway or uh, ready to use home assistant hardware. Okay, so we don't need any Raspberry Pi. We'll be having this home assistant green device, which is something like this. It will be connected directly 
with a router via a LAN cable and you are ready to use the home assistant connect to ESP home connect with other smart home uh, devices and it's ready to use so this got uh, some amazing specifications like 4 GB of RAM 1.8 gigahertz uh, quad core ARM processor no it's not uh, the Raspberry Pi the Qualcomm processor it's a different one and it got built in 32 GB of eMMC uh, storage so we don't need to provide any external storage uh, like we used to provide in the Raspberry Pi we need we have the inbuilt storage of 32 GB and it also got a connector for SD card but this is not for storing uh, the external data rather it is just used for recovery purpose only which is mentioned here it also got a display port HDMI port in uh, in case we want to debug that so it's it's the ready to use hardware for just home assistant and not anything else so this is released in this month and its price is 99 US dollars so that is the home assistant grade uh, ready to use home assistant hardware straight from Nabucasa which is a community that made the home assistant platform that's the latest update from uh, October 2023 now if I talk about some of the projects well I didn't like any of the projects and I'm saying this line since couple of months now so maybe it's just me that I'm not liking any DIY projects uh, on uh, uploaded on YouTube or is it the same scenario with you as well well do let me know your uh, thoughts on this do you think uh, like do you feel there are some projects which made you feel wow which are uploaded in the span of the month or in the previous month well if you think so well do share those kind of projects with me because I personally don't like much of the projects in the span of two three months but yeah i am covering a couple of uh, content created based videos so earlier we were co uh, we have covered the products released by the uh, companies but now if i tell you about the content created by the youtubers or other co uh, content creator then the video from electron noobs is something which i like this month it's about how microchips are made so he covered straight from the sand then how it is converted to silicon and in the end how uh, the chips are actually made and uh, how uh, an IC is made out of that particular chip. So he tried his best to showcase uh, how the silicon is made without visiting any factory by just using some animation and some uh, video footage available online and uh, it's very easy like he tried to make you understand a very easy way possible so i definitely recommend to watch out this video whose link you can definitely find in the description it's a very interesting video coming up next we have two more videos but both the videos are from techie sms youtube channel only because these two videos are something which I, I i recommend you to watch it out at least you should be aware about these two uh, content these two piece of content yeah, they are really amazing one of them is the gps tracker or the multi-purpose iot tracker version 2 well this small device got a lot of tech in it like you can do the real-time tracking you can spy someone with a built-in microphone you can uh, send the sms uh, based uh, with the help of the sos button provided here it can also work for real-time location it can also work for location based on sms there are a lot of features built in and this time we also got a 3d printed design and made it in a very compact form factor so that we can easily put it inside our pockets as well it is also available for sale no doubt through our website but we also uh, educated people about how they can make it too how it works and we also provided the code for that uh, free of cost to on our github repository so this is one of the project which you should, should check out this month and last of video of the month it's about the matter protocol now this is something which you must be aware about if you are in the field of iot okay so matter is something that is a new protocol and it will be taking over the complete iot market at least the home automation market so this is a standardized protocol that will be used by the home automation appliances uh, in which we don't require any particular mobile application from a particular company like <clears throat> any particular iot device can work with alexa work with google work with apple seamlessly also work with home assistant okay so that is something about matter protocol you will come to know more about matter protocol and how you can make your own matter protocol based devices by just watching one single video a must check out video for this month i'll be leaving away this uh, it's link in the description and in the end of the video i try to showcase a practical working demo about how i made a matter compatible device that works with my alexa voice assistant so yeah those were a couple of projects couple of new devices couple of events that were announced in the span of October 2023. I hope you got to know something new from it. Like if you came to know about any single update that you are not at all aware before watching this video, well consider liking this video as it do require a lot of effort to you know research about all these things, record it and publish it for free of course. So do click a like button to appreciate our effort and also let me know in the comments about 
if there's something which I missed in the October month and you think it should be uploaded in this series, well, you can drop down in the comments and maybe I can pin one comment with all those updates mentioned in that single comment. So do share your th uh, those updates with me down in the comments of the video. And yeah, stay tuned with me in November because there is a lot of content coming up. And yeah, that being said, I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me. Thank you, SMS.